is Marcos Vargas, and I'm a teacher at the University of Iowa. And my expert tip uh, for you today is related to how to obtain good posterior contacts with resin composites. So it happens that we, lect we hear a lot of lecturers, a lot of uh, textbooks, textbook telling us about how to get good posterior composite proximal contacts. But through the years of experience, I noticed that, yes, we can have to use a wedge, a sectional matrix, and a ring to obtain a good contact and good contour. But even though sometimes we know that sometimes we can use all those tools, we get a light or sometimes an open proximal contact. So through the years, the key, you know, through investigation and reading and different scenes, my personal preference and personal experience is that the last thing you want to do before placing that posterior composite is to burnish your matrix against the adjacent tooth. Doesn't really matter if you're using a, a sectional matrix, doesn't really matter if you're using a custom, uh, custom matrix or you're using a stock matrix in a Toffelmeyer band. The last thing you want to do with putting that composite, it's burnish it. And not only burnish it, but I'm making sure that that proximal band is in contact with the adjacent tooth. If that band is not in contact visually with the adjacent tooth, very likely you are going to get an open contact because the composite doesn't have the strength to push the matrix and obtain a good contact point like amalgam used to do. So again, that's my tip. Make sure you burnish and you see no light between your band and your adjacent tooth. I hope you like it and I hope you is useful, this tip is useful in your practice.